Hey guys, my name is Kat, and today I am going to show you how to play burnt games on your Wii. Or, this is only for GameCube games. I uh, don't have big enough CDs for Wii games, so I've never tried Wii games. If you want me to try to get bigger CDs to do that, just ask and I'll try it. So what you want to do first before you do anything, back up your NAND. That is like so very important. Why? Because if you potentially, or if you possibly break your Wii during this, you can most likely fix it. So, you also want to get preloader. Preloader and backing up your NAND, very important. I will, for every file in this video, I will put a, I will put up a Mediafire link for them. So you can get them all. Easy shit, yeah. So if you want to get the preloader, you hold reset while pressing power. And it'll go to preloader. And you must have a GameCube controller. I don't know why the hell you're watching this video if you don't have a GameCube controller, since you kind of need them to play a GameCube game. So to back up your NAND, just go to Boot Me iOS, or you can go to Boot Me from your Homebrew channel. That's possible too. But I'm going to do it through Preloader because it's easier. You go to the gears and you click the, the first one that comes up with the green arrow. I'm not going to back up my NAND right now because I've already done it. So And it takes a while and I don't want to take up too many minutes on this video. So yeah, if you have any questions about backing up your NAND, just ask me. So now I'm going to go back. I'm just going to go back and go to my Wii. Now we wait for it to load. Oh, I have my Wii muted. Okay. So, you go to Homebrew Channel. First thing you want to do, if it will load, you go to iOS 236 Installer V6 Pro Piracy Edition. Now you wait for it to load and this will come up. You just press 1 or start to start it. Now it's patching the iOS. And you have to, the easiest thing to do is download iOS from NUS. Um, that's if you have your Wii connected to the internet. I'm not completely sure about how to do it without internet, but I can find out, again, I can find out if you want to ask me. So download iOS from NUS. Initializing network, loading all of the stuff. Oh yeah, this is for system menu version 4.3 only. Okay, I just want to clear that up. Press A to start the install. Now you press, when it's done, press any button to exit. Let me fix that up so you can see it better. Alrighty. Now, you want to go to, I know I have a bunch of other crap on here. Please just try to ignore it if you can. You go to C iOS installer version Rev20B. You'll know what it is because I have it. And then music will play. First you go, you click left once. So you go to iOS 236. You press A to continue. Now just press A again. Now click left once, so it's iOS 56 B5661. Press A. Custom iOS installation slot is iOS 249, so just press A again. And now you want to do network installation, which is click left once. And now this will take a bit. Alright, success. Custom iOS installed successfully. Press any button to continue, then press B button to go back into your uh, homebrew channel. So, after you install those things, what you're going to do, or what you're going to do, you go to MyOS Patcher, you're going to press A to install patch. Now you let it do that.
and then it's just going to load back to your homebrew channel. Good job. Alright, now we go to Wii Mod. And you go into Wad Manager, and you can use Wii SD slot, or if you're using a USB, that's just one click to the right. But I have an SD. So you get RVLC, MIOS, blah, 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 Wii Gator, Wii Power, V0.2 Wad. You are going to install that. Press any key to continue, you go back and you just press, you go back and you go back and then you just press start to exit. On your GameCube controller, I mean, I don't know what it is for Wii Remote. Because I have a Motion Plus Wii Remote and it doesn't like to work with homebrew stuff. So now if you've done everything correctly, and hopefully I did too, you're going to see this. And then it'll say that. It'll say whatever game you have. Now, I will link to the site with the GameCube Backup Loader Compatibility List. And it says different things for different games. So, I have Pokemon Channel in right now. And you have to use, you have to press B to use Patch Miles for Star or else it will not save. So, I'm playing Pokemon Channel and, but for most of them you can just use Auto Detect or use Patch Miles. I don't know about any other games. You just you just look on the compatibility side, all right, guys. So press B, then you'll it'll load, and then here we go, Pokemon Channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching my tutorial. It really means a lot to me, and I hope I help. Uh, you can if you need to ask questions. I'm on YouTube all the time, literally pretty much 24/7, unless I'm sleeping. So, yeah. Have fun with your burnt GameCube games, you guys!